Hello guys, and today we are going to be filming a video on, well, I guess, chess. Um, so sadly, we can't really film it on anything else. Now, I know you're asking why, but, well, the Wi-Fi is the Wi-Fi the wi is broken here. So we're just going to be playing chess, uh, chess items against the computer here. And it has to be on the computer because, ooh, he's playing the Sicilian. Um, very popular opening, it's called the Sicilian. So, yeah. Very famous opening. Um, I'm not really sure how to play the Sicilian. I'm not that good. Okay, that's good. Mm, so he does that. Alright, now let's get our bishop out first. Emma, you can be my assistant. I can be here on the table there. Um, castle? Castle? I, mean, this, have I, I have to castle this way. Mm -hmm. Okay, what what is this guy doing? Um, he's leading a minority attack on me. Um, so here I'm gonna have to be a little bit careful because if the minority attack does succeed, then we're gonna be in some trouble. Correct, okay. Emily? In what? Yeah. Oh, in ad in adventure capitalist. No, in a We have $64,521. You mean an adventure capital? Yeah. Alright. So, yeah, we're going to have to take that. Speak in an English No. It's, I don't know how to speak in a good English accent. But all I have to do to me. Ha ha. No thanks. Ooh, interesting. Now he's gonna lose his rock. Wait, what? There you go. Um, a Mac. We just lost a five hundred dollars. <laughs> In totally real life. Yeah. We just lost it a couple days ago. Nothing. Alright, I'm gonna try to trade queens. This is a very easy computer to beat. Uh, Matt, how many uh, triples do you want? Alright, now I'm definitely gonna win the game. Here, we're gonna try something. I'm gonna try to trade queens. No, I just got his rook. As I said, this computer is very dumb. <laughs> He's a hunty dumpty. Alright. Look at that. This is beautiful. It's not in the world. Yeah, sure. Look at it. Do you even know how to use compass? No, I use the regular pencil. The compass doesn't work. Yeah, it does. You just don't know how to use it. No. What is it broken right here? Oh, well, yeah, I guess it is then. Alright, now we're gonna move in for the checkmating blow. So, I guess kind of we're doing a chess tutorial in here. here. Huh? In here. Mm -hmm. So, what we're gonna try to be doing right now. We're just gonna quickly clean this. Um, we're gonna force him to block with his bishop because that's the only thing we're gonna be able to do. Nothing. Okay. We don't even have the stuff. I'll let him take the piece. Um, so I'll let him take the piece. It doesn't really matter, because I'm gonna win anyway. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the last blow and we're gonna checkmate him like that. There we go. Alright, so um let's play again. Alright, so now we're gonna play hopefully this other opening if unless he does the Sicilian again. Oh, he's gonna be doing the French. So there are multiple ways to play against the French. Um, my favorite is by doing this. 
So he does that. Then both kings are open. Then I check. So that is my personal favorite way to play against the Guys, comment down below how you spend your Thanksgiving break. Yeah. Will you win or is the game over? Yeah, we actually just got back from Santa Barbara and it was a very fun experience. Yeah, it was fun. Just See, now look what happens. See, his bishop's out of the way and then... We can just do that. So, and then there's a lot of possible things you can do from here. So, you, what you can do, um, I don't know if you really want to, but you can just take that. So, it would help, honestly, material-wise. Ah! Well, uh, Emily's gonna play for me right now. I can. Alright, um, we're just gonna wait here for a bit. Oh, I got an epic, I got an epic. So just sit here, Ooh. and we'll be right now. I can. Sorry guys, you're here actually back, and I'm ready to make my move. Sorry. Alright. So, meeting. what are we going to do? So, he just moved that there. Why? Not really sure. That's what he's not sure here. Maybe we can make a video in here. Yeah. We can, we can, but I think we can move on. And now we can make two videos. You make it on the computer, I'll make it on this. Yeah, that would be cool. Alright, so now we're going to do that. Watch this. When he takes back, we're going to check him. And this is called a fork. So in a fork, it's when you're forking a higher piece. When you're attacking two pieces, but you're not being attacked. So now, see, so I'm attacking multiple pieces. Sadly, I cannot really take any of them. But it does leave me in a better position. Now I can't. So now when he takes... Wait, how do you like this whole thing? Or he took like that? That's it. That's editor. What? Now we're gonna just move our rook over here. So we're threatening to take the bishop. Or we just took the bishop. Alright, now he's planning to mate me. That is what he's planning to do. Um, so I think the way he's gonna do he's gonna try Using that thing there. Yeah, that would work. And then, mm -hmm. so, we are going to do the same thing. So now we're going to check him. He's going to have to take. We're going to check him again. He has to move up here. Then we're going to move our queen here. Then, shoot, okay. Let's try that. Huh? Look at this, Dad. What? Nice. Wait, look. No, I, I, saw, I saw what you did. Alright, now how are we going to do this? <gasps> Alright. Um. Okay, let's Tiny Tower Vegas. Alright, that is good for him. Very good for him. Not that good for us, 
Yes, very good for him. That is fine now. Okay, can you please move your knife? Move your knife, I beg you. Oh no. Ugh. You're making me feel like I'm not losing very badly. Just. Oh my god. Mmm. Mm. I guess they'll win. Let's do this. Hopefully. Stupid pawn stopping me from checkmating him right now. Okay. We're gonna have to be very careful right now. See, if I didn't do that move, he would have done something very sad, and I don't really want to tell you guys what it is. Should we, should we hope? Yeah, so we just I can't believe I freaking blundered my queen. You should know. Uh, I think you like pre program like stupid moves that like don't make any sense. Alright. Now, I wouldn't suggest doing this normally. I would never suggest moving out to clean early, but this is the computer, so I'm going to underestimate it. As you can see, it is not the best of a button. Alright, now let's see if it falls for this. So if it takes it, which probably will, no one. Nice job, computer. Um, now it can take it, so I'm going to have to move it out. But if he did take it there, which I thought he would, uh, what would happen is I would take his rook with my queen. Alright. See, that's why I do not suggest moving your queen out early. Your all of the opponent's pieces just start to attack it. And then your time your queen might die. <laughs> Most likely will die actually. But as you know, this is the computer and it's so many stupid. See what he does. Why? As I said, it gets the computer. Get into the center now. Let's just like really play around. Alright, so we'll just take like that. Huh? What happened? I can't download the uh, UDS. 
Can you run it again? Oh, um, yeah, airship. That's, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to go downstairs to download it. And then we're gonna have to do some things with those things. We're gonna have to do it. Okay. Okay, We're not gonna end the video there. Alright, there we go. Now we want his rope, so now we check him. It's called a skewer. He has to move his king out. Oh, wait, I forgot about the stupid farm. Whatever, that's fine. Now it's a skewer. Although he can move out of it. Alright, now we're gonna trade off rooks. Uh, so we're simplifying the board. Uh, when you're ahead, you want to trade off all of your pieces. Cause, see, now he has no resistance. When you're down, unless you have a good tactic to win some material back, you do not want to trade off your pieces. That is kind of how the world works. Okay, guys. I'm gonna have to wait a little bit. Alright, now. Huh? Oh my god! Again, I blundered my queen! Huh? Well, uh, we will finish this video off very soon after I checkmate this guy. Um, and then we're going to go have a little break. My sister's actually going to start right now. Alright, now why don't I show you how to checkmate with the rook and the king? You, I'm what? You, why don't I show you how to checkmate with the rook and a king? So you said my, my sister's what? You can go ahead and have your break. No. And I'll wait. Okay. I don't get what this guy's doing. Alright. So here, let me show you how to checkmate with the rook and a king. Uh, whenever you have a pawn, you do generally want to try to clean it and not do what I'm doing right now. But this is in fact the tutorial. Okay. This isn't usually how a rook and king mate is going to go. I'm just going to tell you that right now. This computer is very, very dumb. Usually in a rook and king mate, what is going to happen... Alright, so I got to the end game position. So, this is not usually what happens in a rook and king end game. Alright, but we're going to go with it. So you always want to keep your the other king in the little box. So you see, he kind of has this box right here. So it's like this, and then like that. That's his box. So now you always want to simplify the box. So now it's kind of like that, right? So we continue. We keep making his box smaller until he only has two squares. All right, now he only has two squares. So now move your king here. Move there. And the king moves to the side. Alright, now if your king, if the opponent's king isn't here but here, what you want to do is you want to move your rook here. You're just going to have to move over here and then you move it back and check it. But for now, we can just check it. So, that's how we do it. And, um, yeah. So, that will be the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And, good.